Hi, I'm Margot Martindale, and you're watching Backstage.com. What was your most favorite role that you've ever played in stage, film, or television? Oh, dear. Um, my favorite role was um, the 14th arrondissement segment of Paris Tam, written and directed by Alexander Payne that he wrote for me and it was just beautiful. Uh, we went to Paris and shot it, just gorgeous. And now, I'm sorry, but Mags Bennett has taken its place. So I think this is my favorite thing I've ever done. Is there still that dream role out there that you would love to play someday? Uh, I had wanted to play Martha in Virginia Woolf, but I, I've passed that age now. <laughs> so <laughs> that's over. I played Big Mama on Broadway and that was fabulous. I created Truvy and Steel Magnolias, so that was wonderful when I was young, younger. And uh, um, I don't, I've had I've had a wonderful, uh, fantastic roles in the movies. Uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, Million Dollar Baby, and a lot of roles with Robert Benton, starring with Paul Newman, which was a joy. So I can't, but those are those are the two that stick out in my head right now. Is there something that you know now that you wish that you could go back and tell yourself as a young actor? He, I think that, you know, you can't know what I know now. It's just I know it because I'm old. And I can't tell anybody young what I know now because it's all about not caring about anything except the character. Don't care about what you look like. Don't care about this. Don't care about care about being true to the character and it's extremely liberating but it only takes time and age to know that I think I mean I'm sure there are plenty of young actors that maybe know that already I knew it somewhat but I didn't know it like I know now I know how to fly now and I didn't really I'm not sure that I knew how to fly I knew how to fly when I was in high school but um, then I then I learned how to act now you have to just forget how to act and fly <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's true too. So what's the best acting lesson you ever learned? Would you say that that was it? Uh, I, I think, well, I did learn that when you were on stage, I worked for John Jory at Actors Theatre of Louisville, and I would always give the stage, and I was very young, and I would always give the stage to my fellow actors not to want to, you know, take, you know, I'd always walk up stage and, you know, do like this, of course. Finally, my, my the act the actress that I was working with, Susan Kingsley, turned to me. She said, "Get your butt down here! You're upstaging me." I learned that early on. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was being gracious. <laughs> I learned that. That's something I learned. Uh, and you know, just being true to. Uh, there's some people out there. Being true to. Being true to the voice of the writer and the character. I think I lost my tra train of thought, whatever, but whatever. Sorry. It's That's loud. okay. I was just looking at those red dresses. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, my final question would be, what is your best advice to all of the actors out there reading backstage? Uh, keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. And you'll, you'll win as many as you'll lose. You, you, I mean, or you'll lose a lot and then you're going to win. But if you just keep going, something will land. Persistence really goes a long way. I've had ups and downs, ups and downs. I've worked my, ever since I started acting, I've worked. But I've been very poor, a, a major part of my career. And, you know, it didn't discourage me. I just kept going. And, and uh, today it's pretty good pretty good. I might even could buy a house soon. <laughs>